I realize that's slightly out of order, but since that graph just goes downhill rather than uphill, it's exactly the same, right? This is the same as sine inverse, but going downhill and up a bit. But the slopes are exactly the same times negative 1. Okay? Now, the tangent one you're actually going to like a bit better because the thing turns out a bit more simple. I would like you to try doing this one. You can graph it if you want and look at it, but you don't need the graph in order to find the algebraic derivation here. Again, you're going to start by thinking x equals tangent of y. That's what we're going to use to get the derivative of y equals arctan of x. Okay? Use, the in, use this version of it and, so, and solve it implicitly. Okay, can you take a minute or two to do that? This one is going to look... Doesn't matter. Sounds like a good plan, and I'm glad you told us. Okay, so we got one on this side. We have secant squared y times dy dx. One over secant squared y. It, it can, but it's easier if we... Um, it's easier if we relate this directly to tangent. There is a trig identity that's related to sine squared plus co squared, right? If you're if you're doing uh, tri if you haven't done trig yet because you're doing math 12 concurrently, there's one related to this. If you if you divide everything here by um, co squared, if you divide all those by co squared, you get a similar identity to this. Whoops. Yeah. If you divide all these by co squared, you get secant squared y equals 1 plus <laughs> tan squared. If you haven't done trig in principles of math 12, you're probably wondering where all these things come from. But there's an identity that says those are always equal. Secant squared is 1 plus tan squared. So you could change this to, you could substitute that for this, right? You could replace that with Instead of 1 over secant squared, you can make it 1 plus 1 over tan squared. That's the quickest, simplest way to do this. dy dx. Okay, so replacing secant squared with 1 plus tan squared. And then we know what tangent is, right? We'll write it the other way around here now. 1 over 1 plus, yeah. I'll write it one more time here. That, this is equal to... Tan y, that was equal to x, right? There you go. Tan y equal to x. So you can change it so that it's in terms of x, which is what we wanted, right? You wanted it to be in terms of x. 1 over 1 plus x squared. So that one's simpler. There's no square root sign involved in that. And, I mean, the reason is because this one has secant squared the derivative, not just secant, right? So it's slightly better because it doesn't have that, I suppose. 1 over 1 plus x squared. If you want to fill in the other side here, again, it's just the chain rule, but 1 over 1 plus u squared times u prime. All of the, all of the functions that go with these, sine and cosine are related. Um, I can show you all the graphs of the other ones. But if we scroll down to the bottom here, guys, for a similar reason, cotangent inverse is just negative for the exact same reason. When you graph it, you'll see. Oops. One plus. These ones are the ugly ones. Okay? They're so ugly and so uh, used so infrequently, I'm going to write them down this way, 1 over, there is a square root involved. It is, uh, well, I'm going to write this as x here. I'd really rather stick to that. 
x squared minus 1 times on the outside absolute value of x. What? <laughs> well, this is... That is real. I'm... I'm going to tell you that if you want to see, like, you you can use a similar technique here for this. And this one's just going to be negative this. All right? You can use a similar technique to find this. I would say, for now, I want to tell you to look in textbook if you want the where this comes from. I don't think we're going to gain anything by going through a third one, especially just to see where the absolute value come from. Basically, the absolute value comes from... Um, at one point you have something is positive if uh, x is greater than 1 or negative if x is less than 1. So if it's less than 1 and negative, you end up with a positive number anyway. So that's where that absolute value comes from. Okay, You, you still don't see maybe, but it doesn't matter. Okay? Well... Well, uh, no, we will do this at one point, but I think right now this maybe is not the, the time. I would rather have you try a few of these other questions here just to use them. I don't want to spend any more than today on inverse trig functions, though. I didn't use, I sh I didn't use you for any of them. Well, if it's a different function in there, if somebody says arc secant of 1 plus u to the fourth, or sorry, 1 plus x to the 4th, just use the chain rule, right? You know the chain rule already? I would like you to do the problems that are in here right now, starting with this one. Okay, I'm going to pause this. You're going to work on them. I'll help you if necessary.